Hey, right, so I gave you a note sheet for today. Um, we're going to be graphing systems of inequalities. So very much similar to graphing a system of equalities, that's what we did yesterday, except now with inequalities comes shade. Okay? So we have that component that I'm adding in today, that, that tool. Okay? So I would start by uh, treating each inequality as an individual and then change it to an equality to graph it. So remember when we're dealing with inequalities that we use test points, okay, somewhere not on the line, plug that point back into our original inequality, and then if it's true, we shade on that side, we shade to that side of or to that point, and then if it's false, we go on the opposite side of the line. Okay? We also have two different kinds of lines. If it's greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, those are solid lines. Greater than, less than, those are dashed lines. Okay? So lots of things to remember. We did these back in first semester. We did them in unit two back in first semester when we were graphing. So I think that I've answered the question here on day two of second semester, do we need to know stuff from first semester? The answer is yes. We will always be building off of previous material. Okay? All right. So on this first example on the front side, y is less than or equal to 3x plus 2, I treat that like y equals 3x plus 2, and I'm going to graph that on my graph with a solid line. y equals 3x plus 2 has a y-intercept at positive 2, and from there then we have a slope of up 3, right 1, or down 3, left 1. That gets graphed with a solid line. And then I use a test point. So for instance, I didn't go through the origin. That's the easiest of the test points to try. But if my line goes through the origin, I can't use it. So I plug 0 in back into my original inequality for y and for x. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2, 0 less than or equal to 2. Is that a true or a false statement? It's a true statement. So since that is a true statement, now here's the kicker. Because I've got a whole nother graph or a whole nother line to put on there, I'm not going to shade this entire side. I'm just going to draw a couple of arrows on that side, signifying which way I would be shading. But because we have to do a whole nother line, or sometimes we might even have to do two or three more lines, I'm not going to shade until the very end. Good with that? So then we repeat that process, but now we're going to use the other inequality. So now I'm going to graph y is greater than negative x plus 4 like it was y equals negative x plus 4. So I'm going to go to my y-intercept of positive 4. A slope of negative 1 means down 1 and right 1. This one, however, 
is graphed with a dashed line because it doesn't have the equality component to it. Again, I choose a test point. I, I'm a pro big proponent of choosing the origin anytime you don't go through the origin. Plugging it back into the original inequality. Zero is greater than negative zero plus four. Negative zero is zero plus four is four. Zero is greater than four. Is that a true or a false statement? That is a false statement. So instead of shading towards the origin, I'm going to now shade away from the origin. So then my final answer will be the area of the graph where all of my arrows are going into. Currently, on this particular graph, this area over here has zero arrows in it. It's clean. Up here, there's only one arrow. Down here, there's only one arrow. Over here, both arrows are happening. So that is the side at which I shade. Resulting in any point in that area will result in a solution to both inequalities. Good? Look, try the next one, or actually try the next two on your own. So this first one, I'm going to treat as if it were x equals 2. x equals 2 <coughs> is a vertical line at 2. In this particular case, it is a solid line. I did not go through the origin, so I'm going to use the origin as my test point. Zero greater than or equal to two, true or false? That is false. So that tells me that I'm going to shade then on this particular side. Then I move to the second line, or the second inequality, I should say. I'm going to treat it like 4x plus 3y equals 12. So 3y equals negative 4x plus 12. So y is going to equal negative 4 thirds x plus 4. That has a y-intercept of positive 4. Down 4 and write 3. This one is going to be a dashed line. It also 
did not go through the origin. So I can use that as my test point. Four times zero plus three times zero has to be less than, whoops, not less than or equal to, just less than. So zero is less than 12. That is a true statement <laughs> in my world. So that means I'm going to shade below that line. Not even going to worry about over here because it doesn't have anything. So it's just going to be down in that little triangle as of right now. Yeah. Then we go to the last one, the third one. I'm going to treat this as negative 3x plus y equals negative 1. So that's going to be y equals 3x minus 1. That's going to have a y-intercept of negative 1 and a slope of 3, up 3. Right one or down three and left one. Dashed line for that particular one also. Did not go through the origin. So that's going to be negative 3 times 0 plus 0 less than negative 1. 0 plus 0 is 0 is 0 less than negative 1. That's a false statement. So again, I'm going to shade on the bottom side. So I'm not going to shade down here, but I am going to shade on that side. So where all three of them meet, where all three of them have arrows, is down in this corner. Yes? Questions, comments, concerns? treat this as y equals 2. That is going to be a dashed line. That is going to be a horizontal line. Dashed horizontal, but it needs to be blue, and it is going to be at 2. I can use the test point of the origin. That gives me a true statement. So I'm going to shade below. Next one is an absolute value. Absolute value graphs look like from first semester. They look like these, building off of first semester. The vertex of this absolute value is going to be at two comma negative one. 
slope of the right side is going to be slope of the right side. Take a chance. Two X. Two X? Yes, I am. Or just two? Two. Slope of the left side. Putting all that together, 2 comma negative 1 is there, slope of 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. It's going to be a solid line. I did not go through the origin, so I'm going to use that as my test point. Zero is greater than or equal to two times the absolute value of zero minus two, then minus one. Zero minus two, absolute valued, times two, minus one. So zero, uh, less than or equal, or excuse me, greater than or equal to positive 3. True or false? It's a false statement. So I'm not going to shade at the origin. I'm going to shade then inside the V. So my final answer... is right there inside the view. Yep. Good. Okay. So now we got to go backwards. Okay. So now I'm going to give you the graph, and you now need to come up with the inequality or the system of inequality for that particular graph. So I would start with the boundaries. Okay? In this, in number four's example, there's only one boundary. So I would come up with the equation for that boundary. In this particular case, I have a y-intercept of 0, 3, and I have a slope of positive 1. So that boundary would be y equals x plus 3. Agree. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Okay. So my inequality is going to look very much like that, except I'm not going to have the equal sign in it. So I pick a point. I'm going to pick the origin again. That's my test point. I have to make my test point here. I want that to be true because it's shaded on that side. So if my test point is the origin, then 0 goes in for y, 
zero goes in for x. I need this to be a true inequality statement. So I am going to have to put in less than or equal to to make that be a true statement. Since my line is not dashed, the equality part holds. Which then I can go back up here and I can fill that in. Questions on that one? Try number five. First boundary has a y-intercept of 0, 3. It has a slope of 1. That would be y equals x plus 3. If I use my origin as a test point, the truthfulness of this, it's solid, so we'd be there. So that would come out as y is less than or equal to x plus 3. If I go with boundary number 2, that is a vertical line. So that would be x equals 3 for that one. If I go with the test point of the origin, I want that to be a false statement. It's dashed, so it would just be greater than. So then that would be y, excuse me, pardon me, not y, x is greater than 3. Together, that gives me that term. Questions, comments, concerns? Not only do you have homework for this evening, but I've also updated the side board, as I promised, for today. Uh, telling you when you have formative assessments. Uh, again, just like first semester, formative assessments will be in the Resource Center on Tuesdays when we don't have class. <laughs>